If you want to find your purpose when you've lost your way, listen to today's Preschool All-Stars story. Preschool teacher Rebecca Golson felt lost after losing her mother. She knew there was more to life, but she didn't know how to overcome the grief she was feeling. So after driving 13 hours to attend one of our preschool summits, she finally found her purpose and began to heal as she started her very own preschool. Rebecca Golson, welcome to Preschool All-Star Podcast. Thank you for joining us. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Awesome. We're so happy to have you, and I'm so excited to share your story with the world. First, we want to get to know a little about you and what your life was like before you found joy and started on your preschool journey. Can you give us a little little backstory about you? Sure. Um... This has been a dream of mine for a long time, and um, I had gone to school for, you know, child care and that type of thing, and um, I was in the process of getting my license and trying to get that done, um, but then I um, I moved to Louisiana for six years um, with my parents, and um, I did work in a child care center over there, and then... Um, when I came back after the six years, um, I tried to open up my preschool once more, but I wanted preschool. I decided at the time I wanted preschool. I didn't want to do full daycare. So, um, but I didn't know how to do it. I was just kind of trying it on my own. Um, and I got the whole process done, licensing and things like that. And, um, but then I got cold feet <laughs> to take the step of, you know, letting go of my job that I had and stepping into the full-time business part. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, so that, that was the really scary part for me, which it's still scary for me, but, yeah. um, I'm in a different place now. So, um, but that's where I was and just, and so then I started, uh, I found joy online, um, about, maybe seven or eight years ago. I know in the back of my mind, I've always had this dream of doing it, but I just, I think I just didn't know. And I was scared and just didn't have enough confidence in myself to do it. Um, And then um, when I found her, I kind of browsed a little bit, but you know, I was still kind of like, "Eh, you know, I'm okay. You know, I'm comfortable Mm -hmm. where I'm at. I was working with Uh, I've always worked with children. I've worked with children for, you know, over 20 years, all kinds of different age groups. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So I knew that was the right thing for me. Mm -hmm. Um, But then uh, just recently, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, well, actually last year, um, Joy had sent out, she sent out an email saying that she was going to have a summit um, in Idaho. And I live in California. So And I kind of, you know, I looked at it and I was like, okay, you know, no big deal, whatever. And then uh, because um, before that, um, just to go back a little bit, um, a year before that, my mother um, had gotten sick. Um, She, uh, we found out that she had cancer um, a couple of days after Christmas in uh, 2018. And, um, so I was taking care of her and, but it was kind of, everything kind of happened, you know, pretty fast. It seemed like forever at that time, but now that I go back and think about it, it was pretty fast considering, Mm -hmm. um, what she was going through. And so then, uh, you know, she got sick in November and she was in the hospital a few times and by January she had passed Mm. passed away um yeah and so you know it was just a a couple months but after that you know last year 2019 was just oh god it was just like the heaviest year of my life um I uh her and I were really close we had gone through some family things you know some family issues and relationship issues and stuff just like a lot of mother and daughters do and um So we were, we were really close. We were tight. (laughs) And, um, you know, I, um, I think I was just enmeshed in that, you know, that I, I was just loving that I had my mother with me for so long, you know, and, and able to 
do things with her, but be independent as well. You know, um, I'm not married. I don't have children. I live with my parents still, you know, even as old as I am, but, but I still had my independence, you know, and I had a really good relationship with my mom, which I'm very grateful for. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, uh, it was really hard for me when she passed. Um, if it wasn't for, you know, for my God, you know, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. And, and if it wasn't for him, I know that, that I probably wouldn't be here, you know, and I say that I don't say that lightly because it, it's something that was so heavy in me, you know, and, and, and even though I'm a Christian and I believe in God and I believe in prayer and, 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 and all of that, but it was just so heavy the the grief was just so heavy in me, you know, that it was really hard. There was days that I just felt like I couldn't do it, you know, that I couldn't, I couldn't go on, you know, but I am so grateful for the people, you know, that have been in my life and, and have, have helped me through that, you know, and, and as much as I've cried and just, you know, and um, I was just grieving, you know, I know I was just grieving, but when you're in the middle of that, it's like, you don't know if you're going to get through that day because it feels like forever. But as the days went on, you know, it got a little bit better. And by October, um, this was in October of last year when I got the letter, the email from Joy. And um, by that time, you know, it was it was getting a little bit better for me. Um, not that it's easy because it's not easy grieving, but um but it was a little bit better and I kind of needed a break, I think at the time. So I had made up my mind by the time she had, she sent me an email and I browsed, you know, and then, um, and then I said, you know, she kept, she kind of sent it again, you know, (laughs) and it caught my attention. And then I got a letter, an actual letter in the mail. And then I was like, okay, wait a minute. (laughs) Maybe I need to do this. You know, maybe this is my sign that I need to get away and just, you know, just go check it out and see what it's about and and just take a break and and do it. So, you know, I made arrangements and um, I had made up my mind that I was going to drive to Idaho, you know, 13 hours from where I live by myself if I had to, you know, and I was so determined to get there. I was like, you know what? If this is for me, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. It'll be time for me to get away. Even if nothing happens, at least I get away. I'll see a state that I've never seen before, you know, and um, it'll be good for me. And so I was telling my friend about it, my best friend, um, Gisela, which, by the way, has been so amazing to me. I'm just oh so grateful for her. But it. Anyway, I was telling her about it and she was like, really, you're going to Idaho? And I was like, yes, I am going to do it. I'm going to drive by myself if I have to. She's like, no, you're not. You're, no, 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 no. She's like, I was like, you want to go? And she's like, yeah. And so, you know, so we made it to Idaho and um, it was great. It was awesome. Um, I was so happy to meet Joy in person, you know, and, and it's just, you know, I think I've said this before, but, but, uh, you know, meeting joy in person is just so different than like when you see somebody online. I mean, it's good. You see people online and, and, you know, you get to know them that way, but when you meet them in person and you, 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 it's like, there's a connection there, you know, and right away her and I just connected really good. And so, um, it was amazing. We had an amazing time. We got to explore, we got to, I mean, everything just was like, everything just fell into place, you know? And so, you know, I left Idaho and um, I was only there for like three days, I think, but it was the best three days I think I had in 2019, (laughs) you know? And so um, Joy had offered uh, for her circle, her inner circle. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought about it, you know, and I think because, um, there was so much for me to do. It, I wasn't ready to take that step of faith yet. Yeah. And um, so it didn't, you know, that part didn't work out. But but the connection was there again, you know, and that's what I got out of it. And I was so grateful for that. So I I, I feel so blessed to have even gone to Idaho, you know, and even though, you know, 
it didn't work out maybe the way it could have or whatever, but it worked out the way it was supposed to. And, and you know, that's the now way. You're, I, now you're on the journey. Yeah. So it is working out. Yeah. So that was the connection. So then I started following her again, you know, and, and now, you know, fast forward, I guess now to, to just recently um, in March, I know she was doing a challenge, you know, for, um, for online preschool yeah. because of the pandemic. And I, I'm working, I work for the school district here in, in my town in Fillmore. And um, I work with special needs kids and I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. But um, last school year, we were having a rough year. You know, we, uh, they were changing our program. Um, from just our, just our special ed kids to mixing them with the, with the gen ed kids yeah. and which, it, which would be great, but there was some things that needed to be worked out and, mm-hmm. and we didn't have any good direction. Our directors were leaving people, you know, things were happening. There was, um, teachers were tattling on people. I mean, just, it was just chaos, <laughs> you know, so I was kind of up to here by March. I was just like, oh, I don't know how much more I could take of this. Mm-hmm. But um, I was happy. I wasn't happy for the pandemic, but I was happy to take the break. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I was happy for the break. And I just thought, you know, oh, it'll be a couple of weeks, you know, two weeks or so. We'll be back, you know, well come to find out, you know, here we are still kind of dealing with it. But um, anyway, uh, you know, I think that's kind of where I I had the chance during this time in March. I know she had done that challenge and I was just ready for a break. So I needed to take some time for myself. So that's what I chose to do. And during that time, I thought about, you know, what the connection that we had. and, And I thought, you know, I really just need to make up my mind to do this. And so, um, so I was waiting for her to do another challenge, you know, and I was like, I know she'll do it. I know joy, she'll do it, you know? And so, um, I was so happy when she put it out there, you know, for that seven day challenge, I was like, okay, this time I'm going to do it. I'm going to go all the way, you know, and I started doing things and I was actually doing the steps, you know, and I had done, I had kind of started a challenge before, you know, before and, but I kind of, I stopped, you know, I just was like, ah, whatever, you know, but this time I was like, okay, I'm doing it. So, you know, I, I applied for my LLC and I sent in the money, you know, one way or another, I figured out, you know, what I needed to do to get the money. And it came through and I was like, thank you, Jesus. You know, I, okay, okay, I got this. So, you know, I sent it in, they sent me an email back and said, you're approved. And I was like, what? Oh my gosh, you know, I was so excited. Yeah. And then, um, you know, just taking the steps was just like, wow, thank you, God. You know, I was just yeah. so elated, so excited. And the more each step that I take, I get more excited. Like, you know, I've been working on, all the technical stuff, which is, you know, kind of challenging sometimes, you know, but, um, but I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Come on. I can do this, you know, and I'm so grateful for the all-star group, you know, because I've been able to put out questions and right away, you know, people are just, yeah, you know, we're here to help you. And, and, you know, and, um, sometimes I have to kind of figure things out a little bit, but, you know, um, it's just amazing, you know, amazing how, how, when you get together with a group of people that are doing the same thing, they, they just, you know, love on you and they help you out when you need it. And, and I'm the same way, you know, I'm here to help others as well. And so, you know, I'm grateful for that. And joy is just, oh, I could go on and on about Joy, but she's amazing. (laughs) Absolutely. That's so awesome to hear your journey from where you are to where you were to where you are now. Tell us a little bit about where you are now. Have you started teaching? Have you, do you have some kids signed up? Um, I haven't actually started teaching. I've been practicing, (laughs) but um, I have my grand opening or orientation set up for November 30th. Um, so I plan on doing like a Zoom meeting with the parents and the children and, you know, maybe meeting the children for the first time. It's a Monday. My classes will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. Um, and so I'm half an hour. Yeah. For 30 minutes, I'm going to do um, a pre-recorded 
uh, sessions and then a Zoom session with them, okay. you know, yep. a live Zoom session. Um, and so uh, on that day, we'll kind of go over, you know, what we're going to do. And, you know, if they have any questions or whatever, I'm going to do my best to answer mm-hmm. <laughs> as much as I can. Yeah. Um, you know, and um, I'm really excited to have three children signed up. So That's what I started with too, and then it grows. It grows once you get that word of mouth. It'll it'll grow. Yes, and I'm still working on my website. I've been kind of multitasking, so I'm still getting there, little by little. I'm doing it, you know, but it's coming along. So I'm. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm getting used to seeing myself on the video. (laughs) (laughs) And um, I got a new camera. So, you know, uh, of classes that are taught on the preschool all stars group too, to be able to, so you can always go and watch, you know, get ideas from other people teaching their class too. That's one of the best parts about, about that group. I love going on and watching how other people post their classes and getting ideas from them. It's awesome. Yes, yes, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm so excited for you. So what if you could go back in time a year ago and tell your past self one thing when you were starting this whole journey, what do you think you would say? Because you've come so uh, far. What would you tell yourself back then, even just a year ago? Oh gosh, a year ago. I would say, you know what, you're worth it and and you you can do this and you know, don't give up because, you know, God is with you and and you know, everything happens for a reason and um you know, I know my mom's up there and she's looking down and she's, you know, helping me along, you know, probably pushing me a little bit, you know, and yeah, um, her wisdom, I, I miss her wisdom so much because I know that whenever I had a question or I had a decision to make, she was always there. She always knew what to say, even if I didn't like it. And there was plenty of times I didn't like it, <laughs> but, um, she always knew what to say, you know, and, and I'm grateful for that. And I miss that. There's, there's times that I've sat on my bed and I'd be like, mom, I need you right now, you know, and, but I know in my heart that she's with me and she does give me that wisdom. It's inside of me. I know it's inside of me and, and um, I'm learning more to love myself and, and just, to be confident in myself, you know, and I know that she's right there to, to cheer me on and to just, you know, say, you can do this. And I believe in you. And she always believed in me. She was the biggest cheerleader I had, you know, and, and, um, and I know she's still my cheerleader, you know, no matter what. And I, I, I miss her terribly, but I know she's still with me, you know, and, and I'm grateful. And, and, you know, this, this, uh, preschool, I'm doing it in memory of her. And, um, you know, my preschool is called, uh, Bex Butterflies, um, online preschool. And the way I came up with butterflies is, uh, one day I was, you know, I had been trying to think of a name for my preschool for a while, you know, because, I had been dreaming about it and I had, you know, I may, I even made like a, a dream board, you know, and, and, and so I had a name on there, but one day I was, I had gone to the mail. We have a mailbox that we go to and, and I saw this butterfly and, and I was like, you know, that it just reminded me of my mom, you know, and it had like purples on it. She loved purple. And I knew right then and there that was my preschool. And um, when I went back to the um, to some videos that that Joy had, and I had purchased the preschool in a box, and um, she mentioned Butterflies Preschool, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's got to be it! Like that's that's the name that I got to go with." I mean, I know it's simple and it's probably like common, and you know. Um, but I got to do it. And even when I went to try to get my website, of course, it was taken already. So that's why I put Bex, butterflies, you know, and I was like, that's it. That, that's that's got to be it. That, that's got to be it. That's how I got my name, you know, the name of Bex Butterflies Preschool. I mean, it just, that's beautiful. it was meant to be. You know? <laughs> what are your next steps for Bex Butterflies? What's the next 
your next plan for it? Well, um, right now, I just really want to get my online going. <laughs> and um, I'm hoping and praying that, you know, I was hoping by January I would be able to open my preschool at home. Um, however, I think it might take me a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've got to finish cleaning my garage out because that's my plan is to have my garage as my preschool. Um, it works out great. Yeah. And um, so it's going to take me a little bit longer because there's more things that I need to do. So um, so get my preschool going right now. It's kind of like an extra job right now. So it'll give me hopefully a little bit of money to save up and then I can open up my preschool in my in my garage and hopefully get that going and um, not have to bother the house part. That's the, that's the whole reason, um, yeah. you know, my dad is still here and, and um, he, he likes his space, you know, so. <laughs> well, there's plenty of us who have converted our garage. So if you need yeah. help, ask the all-stars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, you know, and um, working on some other things with that, you know, so, um, that's coming along, but for now, at least I've got the online and, um, and who knows, I, I may end up just doing online because, um, we've started doing our online classes as well through my job and I absolutely love it. I mean, yeah. I love, you know, being on the computer. I love being at home, mm -hmm. you know, being in my pajamas if I want yeah. to and nobody knows, you know. And I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Like, you know, it's it's just, it feels good, you know, it feels good to, to be able to do that and um, just have that freedom, you know, of, of being home and, and just, you know, before later on, you know, being my own boss, you know, and just right. having that, that independence, you know, hashtag lady boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for all those women out there who are kind of on the fence about joining all stars, what would you say to get them, you know, to where they were to where they want to be? Just like you told this awesome story. What would you say to them if they're on the fence about joining? Uh, I would say you got to do it. Just do it don't don't think about it too long don't fuss about it just do it <laughs> you know just like the nike thing says just do it you know and don't yeah. don't keep thinking and thinking because the more you think about it the more you're you know that thought of no is going to be in there and mm -hmm. and you know you're worth it and you can do it and you know all stars is great it's been the best thing ever um I let it go for a little while just for personal reasons, but I got back into it as soon as I could. And I am so thankful, you know, that I did. And, um, and, you know, Joy is just amazing. And, um, if you ever get a chance to meet her in person, she's the best. I mean, she's the best. I could just, I would just love to give her a hug right now, but, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just, she's awesome. Joy is just, amazing 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 i don't know what other word to to say about her but she's just a joy joy's a joy she is she has the best name ever you know and um and i'm so grateful that you know that god connected us and and we have you know because if we didn't have that i wouldn't be here in this position that i'm in you know and yeah um and her stories her life you know her being so transparent and and um, just, you know, giving of herself and just um, being who she is. Where do you get that? You know, you don't not not too many people would do that, especially on the Internet or, yeah. you know, because people are so afraid of what others are going to think or or, you know, what they're going to say. And, um, you know, I hope that I can be like that. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I think that's part of the reason we wanted to do this podcast, because there's so many women who have you know, so many different stories and they're all leading back to this group and this, you know, kind of the same, the same thing that we all have this goal in mind, no matter what our backgrounds is. And it's really awesome to be able to get together and share these stories and hear your story and all the other ladies. I'm really excited to get to interview. I think this is, this is going to be awesome that we can all share our stories and you can be an inspiration for all the other ladies who are just starting out. Yes, yes, I'm excited. I'm just so excited. And I pray that, you know, that somebody will be blessed by my story and, 
and just, you know, just know that, that it's possible, you know, it is possible and, you know, we have to do the work, but, but it's possible. And when we do the work, then God's right there to help us along and, and to, you know, and, and he puts people in our life, in our path to help us get through it, you know, and, and to, to push us when we fell down, we get back up, you know, and, and just, um, just know that you're not alone, you know, you're, you're not alone. And, and, um, there are people that care. There are, there are other women and there's other people that care, you know, and, and want to see you succeed, you know? Absolutely. So. Well, I want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us and taking the time to talk. I know our listeners will really appreciate everything you've shared with us. And uh, I wish you all the best in your preschool. I can't wait to see where you end up with everything. Thank you, Bethany. I appreciate you too. And, and um, hopefully maybe one day we'll get to meet a person, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. awesome. Person, that would be awesome. Yeah. You have an amazing night, Rebecca. Thank you so much. You too. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you'd like to have a success story just like that one, I invite you to join our Preschool All-Stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q&A lives, support and guidance, and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting, running, and growing their preschools, and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done-for-you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run, and grow your preschool. We've all been there, and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a immediately jump into preschool all-stars again go to preschool all and we'll see you there